You want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your collection? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be. Is this your first meeting in the metaverse? This is the first one. Yes, this is our inaugural uh, meeting, our weekly Zoom call meeting in the metaverse. Yeah, so. Well, it's an honor to be here. Uh, while you were talking, I just logged in and yes, I was in there. Uh, and of course, there was a little bit of a lag, like I could hear you twice. So as soon as you called my name, I just shut everything down and I <laughs> came back here. But Sweet. it's so cool. Oh, my God. It's one of the best looking metaverses I've seen. That's for sure. Nice. Uh, very realistic. The, the avatars are funny. It's like Barbie land over there. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Big dog. Oh, was it Bizzle? One of them, too. It's like a really beautiful girl. Uh, I love it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm very honored and happy to be here. Thank you so much, uh, Brett and everybody else in Tribe Coaca family for having me. Of course, my name is Violetta. I'm a music artist. I've been making music a long time, almost 10 years now professionally. And uh, six months ago, I joined the world of music NFTs and NFTs in general and crypto. And just like uh, Brett said, just I basically started living on spaces and I didn't see anybody anymore uh, <laughs> for six months. And I just, you know, I just really felt like I needed a change. Uh, it was either that, you know, or, or nothing. So um, I was about to quit last year, but then I said to myself, I may as well just try one more time and try hard. And so eventually I dropped um, my second collection. The first one was very small and kind of private. Uh, and the second one, Moonshot, yes, um, sold out in about five weeks, 2,500 music NFTs. Uh, every one of them is different from the other. My dad drew the art. He draws comics for Disney. So he took inspiration from these five songs and drew uh, five artworks with lots of different variations. And then we ended up with 2,500 unique ones. So, yeah, we minted out. And then, you know, we managed to build this beautiful community and with so many of you guys in it as well. I met some of you guys in New York and I, I pretty much cried as well and Brett and yeah. So thank you guys for all the support that I, I that you guys give me every day as well. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm honored to be here. I'd love to play you a song. Yeah, yes, but, but before you do, I just want to mention, so there's, there's five songs in the collection, right? And uh, there's nine different frames that you can get. And each one of those frames has uh, rarity associated with it and different utility, right? So I know the yeah. silver and the ruby and the gold are special, right? So if you find one of those in secondary, they're the ones that are really going to give you some exclusive access, right? They basically give you exclusive access to like special things such as like vinyls and real tangible things that nowadays is kind of getting lost. So I wanted to make sure I had some of that stuff kind of in perpetuity for my holders. Uh, and if you hold one of those, you get automatic uh, free access to any IRL event concert that I might do uh, for a lifetime and, um, and the plus one. And, uh, you know, when I can... I also try add a little, um, you know, little things like we have an event. I'm going to an event in Florida in August. And uh, if you're a holder of one of those, you can get um, a VIP pass worth $400. And, you know, you just don't have to worry about uh, IRL stuff anymore. Of course, I'm a music artist and I love playing live for people. So the in real life events are a big thing for me. Um, and, but yeah, who knows, maybe one day I'll have my own metaverse and I'll be performing in my own, uh, club in the metaverse or whatever, but yes, basically we also have a free mint coming up for the holders only for the holders of these special rarities, but also if you have five songs, if you complete the album, no matter the rarity, really just have five different songs, you're going to get a free mint. Uh, at the end of August, if you have all nine, for example, like Brett, uh, you also got a diamond NFT that he has and a very like a legendary mint also at the end of August for free, uh, exclusive for holders. So, yeah, we have a lot of stuff coming up and, you know, I'm not going to explain everything. It's a lot. But uh, if you want to tune into my space, as you know, I talk about it every day, 2 p.m. Eastern um, and you can access my concerts as well on Fridays. If there are a, bit, a little bit like this one, right? But I just play some songs and there's a special guest every week to play some songs as well. And we talk just like you guys do here. So 
um, yeah, just having a lot of fun and, you know, seeing for the first time in history what music NFTs do to music, where not just the musician is making money, which normally does not, you know, normally that doesn't happen, but the musician's making money um, and the people are making money. It's not the record labels, it's people, because right now the floor, you know, the floor price is three times what what they bought it for, right? So um yeah it's just it's just incredible uh what music nfts can bring and i really believe they're going to bridge uh they're going to bridge you know between web 2 and web 3 music is very powerful so um so yeah i believe in it and um thank you so much for your support yeah well thank you so much for coming and uh and singing a, a song for us to close out our first zoom call in the metaverse so thank you let's go all right what are we going to hear I was thinking of singing Moonshot, because why not? <laughs> you know that's my favorite. So I'm going to turn on the original sound, because I believe that's how it sounds better. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. 